welcome back to Angie in Wonderland and today I wanted to bring you guys a very fun easy DIY that you guys definitely will enjoy and you guys can definitely do for under ten dollars probably even less than that um, but anyway I don't know if any of you guys have heard of these house beads that are very very popular right now you can find them on um, Instagram you can find them on Pinterest you can buy them on Etsy um, they're just very uh, pretty decorative beads that you can just put around your house and they're kind of like almost like a bead garland of some sorts um, but they're just made of little tiny wooden beads and they're just so cute and they add such a neat little you know character to any room decor that you guys may have but I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys some of um, the beads that you're going to need some of the accessories that you're gonna need to make these beads um, the first thing you're going to need is a little package of beads and I actually picked these beads up at Hobby Lobby they're about a dollar ninety nine for one package of them and there's 12 in a little package. Um, you could use 12 little beads if you want to, or you could use more, however however you want to do it. You can also have colored beads. You can do all kinds of different uh, colors with these as well. Um, I've heard you can spray paint them or paint them, but if you can find colored beads, it's probably a lot easier. I tried um, painting some of my beads yesterday, and I'm not exactly sure like if I like the way that they turned out or not. Um, but anyway, I just kind of try to paint some pink just to give some more color to the, you know, pattern of the bead, the house beads. But I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to stick a string inside of these. So I don't know if I have to hot glue them to the end. We'll have to figure that out once we get there. But um, you're going to need either some yarn or some twine, whichever you choose, a pair of scissors, and possibly a hot glue gun. So these are some of the things you're gonna need, possibly. Um, everybody can figure out how to make these. Um, you know, if they make easier for you to make them, I may make them a different way than you might make them, but um, that's, that's kind of what makes everything so nice and unique. We make them all on our own. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna pull the camera down, that way you guys can watch me assemble how I put these beads together, and then you guys can try them on your own. So let's go ahead and get started with making the house beads. get the beads on the twine or yarn whichever one you choose um, you want to figure out how to tie those so the beads do not fall off so I it was very very tricky for me to try to figure this out I mean I tried tying this in like a knot down here at the bottom so it wouldn't fall apart uh, but you have to do it quite a few times in order to do that so what we have come to realize is that you can hot glue those little tiny um these little tassels on the end of them so those seem to work a lot better than having um a knot down there at the bottom because at least with the hot glue it glues this right in and it makes it work so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I already had some of these little tassels pre-made. If you guys are interested in learning how to do tassels, um, I will have another DIY available for you guys to um, watch on how to make the tassels. Um, another thing too, I don't wanna forget this, but London is also making these DIY beads. And she actually is gonna be doing a video which we are gonna be posting at the same day on the same time. Same time, same day. <laughs> on Saturday um, today so if you guys want to go ahead and click on her video so you guys can watch her DIY she may do hers a little bit differently than mine um, and that's kind of again like I said makes everything unique so go ahead and do that because we collab together on making these DIYs I do believe she's also going to do another DIY on how to make these little um, tassels because she showed me how to do it so she's gonna have a little DIY for you guys and I'm gonna have one as well but let's go ahead and get back to um, how to uh, secure our beads on our twine.
you guys enjoyed this quick little DIY. I hope that you guys find this a little to be a little bit easier. Maybe you guys can figure out a way to connect those at the very ends without using hot glue. If you do, let me know. But I think that hot glue um, to secure the ends um, are a lot easier than tying a knot because I think with the if you tie a knot, you're going to tie too many knots and it's going to be kind of bulky down there at the bottom and then you won't be able to um, attach your little tassel at the end or whatever else you want to attach to the end um but i saw some of london's the other day and hers were absolutely gorgeous she's doing a really really good job on making the tassels and making her beads um more creative and decorative um she's done a really really good job so don't forget to go over to her channel and watch her diy because she's going to have one up as well and uh thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time on angie wonderland bye